Jesus so. is still mad because it's going to rain again on Saturday. Is that right? That's what they're calling for. 90% chance of thunderstorms. Oh, wow. Well, we're, real, we're well prepared for that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 like I said, coming into this game, I was telling the team, all right, boys, time to bring the Air Force out, and it's time to get the Air Force going, and we end up calling in the Navy because uh, <laughs> of the, the, the situation that we have. But I haven't even looked at the weather, so, you know, it, it really doesn't matter, whatever. Uh, we'll be ready to play no matter what. Saw Mike Williams walk by. How was his visit to the doctor? I have not. I don't know. I haven't got a report. Uh, I know he went today, but I, I, I haven't talked to Danny Poole about it. How's this team been focus-wise emotionally this week? Good. You know, I mean, it's 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 not a hard group to refocus because, again, we, we have a just – I mean, we just do what we do. We're very consistent in uh, – and how we prepare, you know, regardless of the previous week. And, uh, you know, if you, you know, as I said earlier, if best is the standard, if, if it's a one game season mentality, uh, windshield mentality, then it really doesn't matter about the previous game, what, what, whether it was a win, a loss, or whatever. We just, we just keep moving forward. And, uh, you know, all you got to do is turn on the tape and, Immediately have respect for Georgia Tech. This is a good football team. You know, they, they beat us last year, uh, so they're confident that they can beat us again. And uh, we, we we've got to play well. This is a football team that has to play well, uh, and and you know we've proven that we can find ways to win, uh, different ways to win, and that's something that we have a lot of confidence in. But uh, you know we're not. We're not a team that can just kind of show up and go through the motions and, and, and think we're going to win. It doesn't work that way. Uh, you know, we got to earn everything we get, and, and that's our mentality. They know we got to. They know that we'll have to show up and play a great game to have a chance to win. Which one position on the field out of eleven on defense has their job changed the most when you all play Georgia Tech? Uh, which one position? Well, really, all of them. Uh, to be honest with you, I mean, I don't know that one is more than the other. Uh, I mean, because again, they, they there's not a lot of carryover from what we do, other than you're playing physical and low pads and things like that. But you know, you have to be really locked in on your eyes, and that's always a part of it. But you know, you're playing option football. I mean, I mean, you got to tackle the fullback every play, regardless of what else is going on. Uh, you know, your safeties. Their keys are different than, than you know what they would be when you're playing a spread, where they're maybe you know their eyes are on different things. Maybe it's the number two receiver. Now they're looking at wings and releases and, and, and things like that. I mean, it's just a it's just different um, as far as which one it's different the most for. I mean, I, you know, uh, probably the least different for the corner. And probably the least. I, you know, the rest of them. It's all about the same. You mentioned yesterday that your offense played poorly last year against Georgia Tech. Obviously, Deshaun being injured was a factor in that, but what do you have to do better this year to have success? Well, take care of the ball. Don't throw it to them. Uh, that helps, you know, when you don't score for the other team. And, you know, we yeah, we were, we were blazing out of the gates, just up and down the field, we do it off to a great start. Next thing you know, we've got two pick sixes. And, uh, you know, we just – it's a great lesson because you know Cole wasn't ready to play, uh, just wasn't ready to play, mentally or emotionally or whatever, and he, and he came in and really had a bad game, and uh, uh, but then that's a great lesson for everybody. You got to always be ready. Um, you never know, you know, when you're going to get called into the game. You know, we made some really you know, poor mistakes right there, and the defense played pretty solid. Held them to a couple field goals, which is a win <laughs> when you're playing Georgia Tech. <coughs> You can hold them to a couple field goals. Uh, so it was just one of those weird games that, that got away quick and, and uh, you know, we weren't able to, to get it back uh, and give them credit for that. So, uh, you know, we just we got to take care of the ball. You turn it over against – possessions in this game are at a premium anyway just by the nature of what they do. I mean, they're a four-down offense from goal line to goal line. Uh, they don't punt very often. And um, – uh, you know, they obviously will work the clock. So you know, your possessions, you have to be efficient, you know, with those possessions. Uh, and if you turn it over, you're you're in harm's way against anybody, but especially Georgia Tech. What stands out about what they do defensively? 
Uh, well, they got a bunch of veterans, a bunch of experience. Uh, they know what they're doing. Not a, they don't have hardly any rookies over there. They have 15, like eight seniors and seven juniors, 15 senior junior guys in their 2D. Uh, so, you know, they're good up front. You know, again, know what they're doing, under, really understand their scheme. I think their secondary is really good. Uh, they play great technique. They do a great job of route uh, route reading. And uh, if you're not fundamentally sound outside, uh, they're going to be tipping balls, getting their hands on balls because they. Uh, uh, Rogers, Bryant, and Register doing. They're still good to go for Saturday. Uh, uh, Rogers is, is is good to go. Uh, Bryant is is uh, we're going to hold him. Uh, Register. Uh, we never really anticipated him being able to play this weekend, but we got him back in practice. Uh, he's been out quite a while, uh, so you know he's he's one we got to kind of ramp up a little bit because uh, we, we just need to see you know physically where he is. So he just got cleared to get back in practice and start you know pounding a little bit. Let's see how how uh, how how it all responds. So um, we'll know more on him on Monday, but uh, Austin. Hold him and the same thing. We'll reevaluate him on Monday and hope that he can go next week. But, but we'll see. But he's, he's going to be okay. Uh, it's not a long term type of deal. Uh, but uh, it's good to get Dane back. What kind of challenge does Godsis pose for the center of that Well, he's a good player. He's a big old, you know, strong guy inside there. And, and uh, uh, that's 96, I believe. Is that, that Godsis? I, I, I know these guys' numbers better than I do their names. But, uh, He's a good football player. Again, another one of those crafty veteran guys that's been around the block, uh, does a good job at the point of attack. And, and uh, you know, they do a lot of movement inside. They don't they don't sit still a whole lot, and that's a challenge. You've got to do a great job of being able to catch that stuff and pass it off. And, um, you know, we, we're working really hard uh, just for that. He's a good football player. We've got a lot of respect for him. Dabo, as you settle into the ACC schedule, from last year's college football playoff, there was a lot of talk about game control. Right? Florida State was punished for game control. Your ADs on the committee, you have thoughts on what, what that matters? Game, what are you talking about? Game control, the idea of when the playoff committee makes its standings that you have to win by a certain amount or you have to be, oh, be in control oh, of the game. Yeah, I didn't worry about that. We just try to win. Uh, <laughs> that's, we, don't, we don't worry about all that stuff. Uh, you know, that's why winning the national championship isn't on our goal board because you don't <coughs> control that. I mean, you might go 12-0 and 0 and somebody may say, well, you, you don't go. Uh, you know, all, all we, our goals are set up to allow us to, to, you know, compete, to be the best. I can't imagine ever at Clemson uh, with, with our schedule and the championship and all that. Um, we handle our business not being there. I, I, I can't imagine that from any scenario. So I don't I don't lose sleep on that one second. I mean, I wish I could get them to cancel the season after four games. That'd be a beautiful thing. We'd be in pretty good shape. Uh, but <laughs> it doesn't work that way. You know, we we got to go play all the – we got a long way to go, a lot more football. So, you know, I hope that we're 12-0 and 0 and, and – uh, People are having a conversation before we go play that championship game.